I take a picture of the lock, do a reverse image search online to find the exact model, take a master key, and we're in. Or we can freeze it with liquid nitrogen. Actually, the compressed chemical dichloroethane. If you cool it to negative 25 degrees Celsius, even tough locks become brittle enough to smash open with a hammer or burn through it with a thermite reaction using aluminum powder and rust powder. It can be very dangerous, but pretty awesome! Or we could just walk in. That works too, but first let's go dark. Game over, retro. Ah! Girl, you should really think about going out for soccer. Listen, I can explain. Don't waste your breath, retro. You're going to jail. Kevin, I'm going to take away your TV privileges if you leave one more dirty pad in the sink. Give me a second, Mom. Jeez. You live with your mom, Retro? Or should we say Kevin? Th that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not Retro. Well, I mean, I am Retro, but I I'm just an actor. I was hired to play a role. My name's Kevin Glitterman. You can't eat mac and cheese every meal. It's not good for you. Please, Mom, you're not the boss of me. First, don't yell at your mother. And she's right. Too much white flour raises your sugar levels. Hmm. If you really are an actor, then who hired you? I don't know. Every morning, a script and an envelope filled with cash was slipped under my door. And then I'd broadcast live. I knew it was wrong, but acting's my passion. And, and I haven't done live theater since I was a student at Maywood Glen Academy. Wait, you're that Kevin Glitterman? <laughs> we loved you in that production of Annie. Remember, Bri, third grade, Miss Neven took the whole music class? OMG, you were Daddy Warbucks. You signed my program. I actually shaved my head completely bald for that. Why should we believe your Glitterman? Addison, run a facial recognition to check his story. The only reason I took this role was so that I could get my own apartment. I located his headshot and resume. He's telling the truth. I finally get my own place. <laughs> So this was all just a wild goose chase? In serio? It's like Retro was just a pawn. The power's back on! Emergency! Emergency! Innovate breach in progress! Innovate breach in progress! No! I can't believe Tech Fair's here already. This year, it's mine. <laughs> What's doing, camouflage? <laughs> Justin, it's Cameron Coyle. For the millionth time. Signing up for the tech fair, I see. I'm surprised you're up for it after last year's embarrassing defeat. The only thing embarrassing was losing to a guy whose best friend is a mirror. Whoa, whoa, hold up there, Chamomile. Don't be such a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you save yourself the pain of failing? I know how sensitive you can be. Sensitive. Justin, this year my girls and I have something epic in store. Oh, really? You and your little Spy club. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're... building our own car. And it runs on water. Please. Not only that, it's top speed will kick your... Hey, how about we just keep the rest a surprise? The guy's such a jerk. <sighs> Cam signed us up for the tech fair. Apparently, we're building a water-powered car. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad you chose something easy. Shouldn't be underestimated. We're not just bedazzled, we're bedazzling. Hey, girls, can you try and kick the ball back? You can do it. <laughs> Use all your big girl muscles. <laughs> I got this. I worked at Case and 
Suzo. I played a lot of football. Bye-bye. He'd say hi, and I'd say, I love your music, and he'd say, cool. And we'd start Snapchatting and texting, and we'd follow each other on Instagram, and people would think we were besties, but we'd say, it's nothing. <laughs> but it's actually something. Oh, there's something, all right. Kim and I have loved Elite's music for so long. I've studied it, actually. I broke down all their drops and listened to all their tracks. Eli's a musical genius. My favorite is This Is Nothing. What's yours, Em? Yeah. Actually, there's so many that I haven't heard. I don't know their music. If only I were you, to listen to their music again for the very first time. What's up, Maywood Glen Academy? It's good to be home. I miss you guys. I also miss my Grandma Joe's oatmeal cookies. I love you, Grandma. Anyway, as all of you know, we just came back from a very successful world tour. And as a way to thank our hometown, we will be giving a free concert at this very school. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Kyle. That's pretty cool of these guys to give a free concert, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, my brother and Eli were in a couple classes here together, and now Eli's a star, so kind of gives hope for average guys like me, huh? Not at all. What? No, I mean, you're not average, and you have a shot at being more than average. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, um, that's encouraging. Uh, well, I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead here, but uh, see ya. <sighs> one step forward, two steps back. I think you mean two steps forward and one step back? I wish I did, but we will get there. And for our return home, we have amazing news, Maywood Glenn. To tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up the man of the hour. The man that made it all happen, our sponsor, Simon Temple! No way, no way! I can't believe Simon Temple is here! And they were glad! Just breathe, just breathe. Okay, too much breathing. Simon Temple is epic, and he's not even 30. He just made the annual list of global entrepreneurs under 30. He's worked with all the hot, young innovators. Ricky Muller, Leah Busk, Lisa Luca, and one day I hope me. You might want to answer that. It's Kyle. Oh. Hi. Are you still catching a movie when you get off work? For sure. Super Agent the Owl by day. Super half of Mikhail by night. <laughs> Mikhail, I like that. All right, let's focus, shall we? The owl seems more cranky tonight. I agree. She is kind of extra wiggy. But, I mean, it's a big night for her. It's her first assignment in charge as the owl. Uh, guys, we can still hear you. I thought you muted. Sorry, wrong button. Um, moving on. Cam, Ember. I never congratulated you guys on getting into the Destination Mars Camp during summer break. You gotta be psyched. Super psyched. Four straight days right here at Space Inc. Simulating a future space station journey and eventual colonization on Mars. I haven't been this excited since I cross-pollinated our wheat crops and doubled its yield. Take that, GMOs. You guys, we have an unidentified figure entering the building. All right, this could be it. Remember the plan. When our uninvited guest enters the East Corridor, we surround him and move in. Wait for my command. Affirmative. We're with you, Al. You heard the quail. It's critical to the mission we capture the intruder. I've got him on infrared as well. What I can tell you is whoever it is, they're sweating. In this case, it's likely due to nerves, which makes sense because they're about to go to jail. <laughs> we lost picture. What? Why? Not sure. Bry's working on it. I'm rerouting the network paths. They must have timed out. Talk to me. And 
We're back. We have a visual. The intruder is entering sector three. We move now. But the intruder's not in position. Shouldn't we wait? I agree. Hey, I know I'm new here, but I feel like we should stick with the plan. He could be jamming the signal. We can't afford to lose visual on him again. You heard me. Move in. We have to take him. Kaiser Misha. Ask this last one. What's the power? He's heading for the exit. Go. 